Hi, I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting and welcome to my channel. I have a question for you. What's better than a three yard quilt with a free pattern? Hmm. I know a three yard quilt with a free pattern and you make it with another YouTube buddy. April and I, we decided on Saturday late afternoon that we were going to make three yard quilts with, with stars for Memorial Day. Now, for those of you who are international, Memorial Day is like the E-Day in Europe. Um, and it's where we honor soldiers that have fallen and fought for our country's freedom. It's a very patriotic holiday. Plus, I feel like Memorial Day is the kickoff holiday for Flag Day, for the 4th of July, rounding up with Veterans Day. And I love my country as much as you love your country. And I wanted to make a quilt for my sofa. What's more perfect than a three yard quilt with a free pattern called Splendor? I have a copy of it on the engineer's phone. This is, this is what she shows, uh, so can she, on her website. I love her blog. Now I have had my eye on this quilt for a long time. And when April said, you gotta come up with a small quilt with stars, I knew right where to go. There's a way that you can uh, click on the top of the blog and download PDFs. So I didn't do it. I just brought my laptop and it's sitting right here. <laughs> and I just follow along on the laptop and scroll through all the commercials and I get what I want, right? Today, before I get started, I want to thank a couple of people who've been commenting on my channel. Karen with an I. Hi. I just call her Karen with an I because I think it's cute. <laughs> Karen with an I. And you know who you are, Karen. She said that she got a smile from the roadblocks I ran into on my last video with the wonky four patch. It made her smile because she runs into roadblocks all the time when she's quilting and she realizes she's not alone out there. Thanks for commenting, Karen. Your comment made me smile. So look, we're all just smiley. And you're right, that quilt is made with a lot of love. Mary Bond, I'm excited as you are that that fat quarter bundle you have been saving is going to be perfect for the wonky four patch quilt that I just made. It's such an easy quilt, no pattern necessary. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Let's get started on this quilt. Can you see how cute it is? It's two blocks and that's all it is, is two blocks. And they're actually quite simple once you get used to making them. This is block number one. It has, um, and this is the star right here. It starts with this piece in the center, and then it has hourglass shapes around it, four hourglass shapes, and it finishes off with a four patch. And the second block has a red square in the middle of it. Now, this block may look complicated, but when I tell you what it is, you're gonna figure it out. It's a square in a square. And you put it on like so. And then you finish it off again with four patches. So, this was all made with three yards of fabric, including the border and you can do a scrappy binding. But I am gonna cheat. I am gonna bind mine in red. I have some, I have quite a bit of the red, so I am gonna probably go off a little bit to bind mine. All of the fabric that I'm using for this is from the line called Red, White, and Bang by Sandy Gervais. And this is going to be, look at that, those old fashioned bathing suits on the line. Isn't that adorable? This is gonna be on the back. And I'm gonna have it done by this weekend so it can sit on my couch for all those flag holidays and the summer. I am not going to go through how to cut out your fabric. However, 
on the So Can She blog, under the directions, she has cutting guides that look like this. Can you see that? And this is just one of them on the Focus fabric. Don't you love how easy it is to cut everything out? Her instructions are step-by-step, -step, super easy. I love it. And when I get everything cut out, I keep it stacked in my three piles of three colors. And there's not that many squares and pieces that you have to keep them separate. But if you wanted to pin them using the alphabet pins I taught in another video, go ahead and do that. Now I've used my pieces to make these units for each of the blocks. And like I showed you earlier, this is the unit for the star block. There are four of these hourglass blocks. There are four of the four patch square blocks and there is one of the center block. So simple. Let's sew it up. The first thing I'm gonna do is lay out my units on my design board. That way I can keep them straight. And as you can see, check it out. It's just, here, let's move this one that's, it's a nine patch. So I'm gonna set this aside over here. There's my computer back there. And I am just going to sew these up. And at first, you don't need to really match any seams on this first row. This is the back of the block. And what I want you to see is that these center seams on the center block are pressed in. They're going this way. And on the lower and the upper block, they're pressed outward. That way I can easily nest them. Look at that. I'm not real happy with this intersection here. I'm gonna to have to fix that. This intersection is probably okay. All right, here is the problem with that one horrible intersection. See this? There's not enough room to get a quarter inch out of that. So on the back side, I did take a good quarter inch seam. That tells me the problem is here. I'm going to unpick this piece and make this triangle a little bit deeper so I have some more um, so I have some more fabric to work with. I can't believe this is happening on the last block when I'm making the video. Everything else turned out so good on this quilt. Upon further investigation, this is a terrible corner here. Look how it's sewn. Can you see that? How it's not going to a point here? There's a point here and a point here, and I sewed in between the two points. What was I thinking? So that puts my ending stitch up here, leaving nothing for a quarter inch seam. Not a good scene. Let me see if I can fix this. All right, I figured it out. Looks like I had a defective unit, folks. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me while I repaired it. I just could not live with that. Look at that. See what I have? I have a quarter inch and my block is going to look good now. At least my points will look good. 
where I'm placing the pin is right at the intersection of the point and I'm sticking it straight through like I do because if I'm making a star block, I want it to be beautiful. Much better. That is a much better point right there. And that is a much better. See, it's not so bad to stop and fix something. And check out that block. It's looking good. Let me lay out the other block for you. Now this one, when we pick up these two pieces, is a tad fussy. So you want to get that seam, can you see that? Right, this, this seam on this side, where it's blue and white, you want that seam to hit right on the diamond point of the red point, of the red square. So I match that up, then I don't worry about the rest of the block. Let's see now. And how I do that is by folding this piece back. And look at that. That's pretty darn close in the middle with that line. Now, this side is easy because those two right sides go together. There's nothing to match. However, you don't want to cut the tip of the square off that's on point. So I'm going to put a pin in it and sew that side up. We do that four times when we sew this block. Four times I want to make sure that this line is right in the middle of that little triangle or little square at the top. And it is, and it looks pretty darn straight on there. And by the way, all of these units have been squared up. When you put these blocks together, definitely use pins. Now, right here are the two seams that nest in the center. And it's nice because there's no points you have to match there on this block. But on this one, you think, oh, there's no points either. But you stick a pin through this seam and it comes over here. Can you see that right in the middle of that half square triangle? So there really kind of are points, sort of, <laughs> to nest. And this one you want to do the same too. You want to stick a pin right through there. And look what happened. It came off. See that? It's not next to the seam. So I'm going to have to fudge this guy a little bit. And do some stretching. He's too far this way, so I'm going to slide this whole piece over. Sorry, I have a pin in my mouth. And I'm going to go through that point again. Aha, look at that. It came out right on the seam. Can you see that? And then I have a little bit of excess. We'll just stretch it a snitch. Thank goodness we're working with fabric and not bricks, right? Let's see how it looks. Good, good, and good. <laughs> so I have to tell you something funny. I talked to April again this morning, and you know how she likes to do really big things because she doesn't, she says she doesn't have the patience for smaller things. Well, on her quilt, she said, and she repeated this several times to me, there's 96 half square triangles. <laughs> I just kept laughing. I thought that was so funny. 
I didn't count. I really didn't have any half square triangles, so I thought that was pretty funny. She couldn't get over the 96 half square triangles. I don't think she's done a quilt with that many in it ever. Then I said, whose idea was it to do star quilts? Stars come with points and half square triangles. <laughs> so anyway, let's, uh, let's go put these on the design wall. And Brenda, yes, you need to name your machines. It's fun. And then to clarify for Jenny Harris and for all of you who've heard me mention, at one time I did have an online store, but no longer. Life got in the way and I couldn't handle it all. The only thing I have now is a long arm quilting business slash studio and YouTube channel. So thanks for asking about that. What do you think? Isn't this the most adorable quilt pattern? You know what I'm going to do with it? It is a three yard quilt and I'm going to use it in my living room. I have a small living room and a small sofa. This is going to be perfect for the summer months. It is going to be festive and summery, 4th of July E, if that's a word. Anyway, the blocks were just a snitch fussy. Thanks for sticking with me on that one. But it happens when you're working with stars, April story, you're gonna run into situations like this if you want perfect points. And mine still aren't perfect, but they're close enough for government work. All I have to do is sew these bottom three blocks together and then sew them onto this and then I can attach the borders. Give me a minute and I'll be right back. There's something I want to point out when you're putting these rows together. And that is, see these blue boxes? Look at that, that's four, four patches together. And you're going to want to make sure that contrasting box is matched really well. And you know what I do? I just flip it over. And if both of my seams are pressed the same way, and on this one they are, I flip one of them so they nest, okay? It's important to get those seams nested so they're nice and straight because that is kind of a glaring mistake if you make it. There's some mistakes that you can go, eh, whatever but that one would glare at you because it's such a contrast between the dark blue and the white. So just pay attention to that. I wanna point out one thing about three yard quilts. They use every bit of fabric. Like this is a 21 inch strip of two and a half inch fabric and you're gonna to have to use it on the border. For instance, there were four border strips that were the width of the fabric. So that's one, two, three, and four. However, do you see this? There's just not enough room to do the whole border. I'm gonna have to cut a chunk of this to make it and there'll probably be this much fabric left over, but it's kind of exciting to use up three yards of fabric on something so cute. Let me um, put the borders on now because this is all sewn together. Ta-da! And let me throw a few fireworks or whatever it is. Maybe a 21-gun salute. I love this pattern. Again, I've had my eye on it for quite some time, and I just knew it would look fantastic in red, white, and blue. I am going to go down tonight. I have to do a few more things. We've got to go see some people. You know, it is Memorial Day, and there's still some time on the clock but I'm gonna have this quilted by midnight tonight and I'll post it on my community page tomorrow <laughs> so you can see that I did it. But I'm gonna quilt it with wool. This will be the backing, these old fashioned swimming suits hanging on the line. They're part of the line by Sandy Gervais. Again, it's red, white, and bang is the name of the fabric line. Next time April comes up with a great idea like this, I may tell her to take a long walk on a short pier. 
<laughs> I don't know. But it was kind of fun. I just saw a picture of April's finished quilt. It is adorable. I'm going to link her video in the top of my description and she's going to link mine in her description. So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful week. I have a fun video planned for you this Friday. It's going to be my trunk show. Happy Memorial Day, everybody and have a great rest of the week. Bye.